some guys said that they went on their first date with their wives and uh, they brought Joey along. It just sounds like uh, <laughs> he was just part of the team. Um, I know uh, you can probably elaborate on it that uh, Wayne Gretzky brought him into the organization, but, you know, a lot of players, former players and current players, you know, when they consider themselves the Edmonton Oiler, they, you know, they think about Joey Moss right off the bat. And so tell, uh, tell our listeners a little bit about Joey. Well, I, I think it's understated to say that he was at a fixture there and it, and it really did have a bit of a humble beginning. Uh, Wayne just brought him to the rink one day, said, come on down while we practice. And so obviously when you come down and the boys go on the ice for practice, there's somebody has got to get him a coffee and get him a donut and make him comfortable. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> that was the responsibility of uh, the trainers and specifically uh, Sparky Kelchinski. So uh, I don't, I don't think as all the years went by, there was, there was nobody closer to Joey than Sparky. They were inseparable. They were brothers. Uh, uh, so Sparky, Sparky uh, had a notorious, was a... sorry, he had a notorious smart ass attitude <laughs> to players all the time. He kept us humble, and wouldn't you know it, it, it was a natural level of use, and that Joey had a little bit of a smart ass in him too, and and gave the players some crap from time to time. And uh, uh, when I when I think of the two wandering through the room doing their jobs, I get a kick out of it because there was always a grumble, somebody grumpy pick this up, put that away, and Sparky would fire off, and it'd be like a little parrot from the other side of the road, and Joey would fire off, too. <laughs> so Sparky was the, the main uh, equipment manager? He was uh, Lyle. Lyle was his first name, Sparky, but no, he was uh, he was the assistant to, to uh, Barry uh, Stafford for all those years, and uh, so he had various responsibilities, whether it was uh, in the truck picking up visiting teams at the airport. There was Joey right along for the ride. Uh, visiting trainers got to know him really well because he was the go-between. He'd be bringing the visiting team supplies over, whether it was towels or shampoo or soap or whatever he have. So, I mean, every every training team in the league got to know Joey as, as uh, an integral part of the organization. Wow. Now, is this the story I heard was that was uh, Wayne Gretzky dating his sister or something like that? Is that correct? That's uh, that's absolutely right. That was uh, Vicky Moss was Joey's older sister at the time, and uh, just a few years older, as a matter of fact. But anyway, she was dating Wayne, and uh, uh, that was how Joey got introduced to the locker room. And uh, in fact, uh, Joey's brother uh, Jimmy Moss was also a vital cog. Jimmy was a uh, electronic salesman and I think there was a lot of TVs and satellite dishes brought from Jimmy over those years as well so they both uh, came in to be a part of the organization. 